Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are gonna be closing out my monthly bill tracker for June, 2022. Now, how do I do that? I use the highlighter method. I just go through each expense and then I categorize it in each of its spending category. So like if I have like Netflix, I have like a Disney Plus or I have like Xfinity, that's all like entertainment and for like, you know, TV shows and all that stuff like that. So that way I know what I'm spending in that category so that if I need to cut back on something, I need some extra money for something else. And another category that's more important, I can see that, hey, I don't need Disney Plus, let's get rid of it. So that's how I do that. And then also, I know you guys haven't seen these in a while. I'm gonna be adding some extra cash that I got from Facebook Marketplace selling things. Um, I'm gonna be putting some extra cash into these boxes, okay? All right, so if that's something that you wanna check out, guys, please stay tuned. All right, so first thing before we get into it, y'all, my mind is still at the beach, but my body's here, so I gotta get it together. So let I don't know if you guys, you know, like when you go on vacation, it's hard for you to kind of transition back to what you were doing the normal life. So that's what I am battling now. All right, so we are gonna actually go ahead and hop to our monthly bill tracker and this is gonna be for June and this is how it looks. And so basically this is all pretty much done at the beginning of the month. So I like to have everything pretty much filled out and then I just do due date and I do budget it. Let's scroll in a little bit. All right, there we go. All right, so um, and then once the bill come out, this is more like a real time tracker here when it comes out or needs to be paid I do the amount and then the date that I actually paid on and then as you can see on the bottom I have color coded right here so I need to get all of these colors out and I'm going to grab those super super quick and I hope I remember which colors which colors I had y'all I am like the worst when it comes to like clicking my pen and this was the culprit here <laughs> I mean it wasn't its fault I had to click it I I am like the worst with trying to click the pin back so it sat there and it got all over my little pouch I was super super so upset but you know what life goes on can't dwell on it all right so let me get some pins out here careful so one two three four five six one two three four five six all right y'all I think we good I think we good here yeah, I was so upset about my little pouch. Okay, all right, so first thing, oh, we don't need this red pen. All right, oh, let me make sure that I click this close. All right, so first thing we're gonna look through is for our cell phone, and then y'all, we only have like $58 to pay for our cell phone bill. Still can't pay it all because the way that it works on my bill, it has to go through as a, a, a credit. So it has to show as they charge me and then it has to show as they do a credit. They said if I try to pay the $58 off, then I actually have to end up paying the whole phone off. So we got till August. August is when the um, phone is up and I did not realize this because they said it's a difference between the leasing of the phone and then the financing of the phone. We picked financing, so thank goodness, because financing we actually um, after the end of paying our phone off and we have T-Mobile slash Sprint, well Sprint first, but with the financing, um, after we've paid all of that off, I don't have, I don't think I have a contract. No, I don't have a contract, but the thing about that is, um, we have to pay the phone off and then the phone is actually ours. We get to keep it. It's our phone, but if we would have leased it after the lease is up, we would have had to trade the phone in and do another one, or we could have, I guess we could switch over to financing, but yeah, you have to turn your phone in. So I am so glad that we did the financing part so that after we pay this, our phone is actually ours. These phones are expensive. I'm just telling you right now, they are super expensive. Okay, so we're gonna do everything for cell phone and that's gonna be in the purple. This is super easy, super easy, um, really easy. All right, so we got Sprint. And Sprint is 137, so after the um, financing is over, because we had a buy one, get one, this will go down to probably like 100 and maybe like $7, because the extra here is for the leasing of the phone. It's like 30 something dollars. All right, so we have 137 for um, our cell phones. Now, we're gonna go and do everything for Aiden, which Aiden is for daycare. 150 
daycare 150 daycare 150 daycare Ooh, yeah i cannot draw a straight line with these markers 150. all right so let's go ahead and add up y'all ain't seen me use my calculator in a while right i probably didn't got rusty on it so we got 150 150 150 and 150. all right so we got six hundred dollars for aiden for the month so this daycare and starting in august it's going to go up to 165 so daycare is off the chain but like i said everything's going up and he's at a good daycare so i am pretty much okay with that all right so next we have home utilities so we have aep and then we have quota bill which is outrageous but i forgot aiden was planning the sprinkler so i can't really be mad about that and plus he had fun okay so we got mortgage all right so what else do we got i think that's it yeah that is it it seems like it's more but i guess i don't know my bill list is getting smaller so i guess i'm kind of like still self-doubting i'm like wait a minute because this thing used to be filled up with bills all right so we got 236 plus 112.57 plus um 468.44 and we have 817 it's kind of hard writing on the bottom of this okay all right so we got entertainment so entertainment is what i told you it was like pretty much like netflix um oh wait a minute home this goes with home too all right so let's let's fix this so we got 81701 plus the 3795 i forgot about that all right so let's get rid of that and then so that'll actually be 85496 and we are going to go back with our yellow and do brinks because it's the security system all right so now we're back on to entertainment so we have netflix um, Xfinity is entertainment and then we have Disney plus which I'll actually like it I like Disney plus myself they have some really good movies I like they have the DC and the Marvel movies I love those so we got 1549 I was trying to watch Doctor Strange but it's like always a lot of stuff going on in that movie that I'd be trying to follow and I'd be like come on now Doctor Strange what was just happening now it's something else I guess that's just the the thing of the movie that's just how it works so i guess that is but my netflix yo stranger things came out on the first and i'm not gonna lie to you i was one of those people that was like up on it i even put it in my little planner to watch stranger things and then i know they said didn't they say like the netflix screaming went down because so many people were watching stranger things so that is totally crazy all right so next we have car so car is in this color. So we have Geico, and then we have Xfinity. Oh, we have Allie, not Xfinity, we have Allie. I'm sitting here staring dead at Xfinity. Okay, so we have 145 plus 341, and that is 486. And then we have credit cards, which y'all see, it's totally, I only have two cards left. Do, 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 which I'm so excited okay so this is going to be this blue I think it's this color yeah so that and then we have that so already got $76 plus $80 okay so that's $156 so I'm going to see something real quick okay so y'all remember look at this this is crazy. Starting in January, my monthly payment for my credit cards was 802. See, this is why I actually do this because this right here keeps me going, keeps me like, wow, the progress you're making is worth it. You know what I'm saying? And then also I've been actually paying things down and I and I haven't been like a what do you want to call it? Like get like just beat myself up saying like okay you can't have fun you can't do other stuff you can't do this but you can have fun you can do stuff and i was watching salisa's video beautifully me and you and she was saying like you don't have to like always do your savings challenges and stuff like that you still can take your money and you can kind of you know reward yourself splurge and everything like that i love salisa i love her voice 
I just I love the way she talks I just love it okay all right but um but yeah I just I love her um she's just so full of like energy she's so like positive I just love it but um so at the beginning of January, the beginning of the year, I had 802. That was the monthly payment that I was paying for my credit cards. And if you guys look now, this is crazy. Like I am like blown right now. So the amount for credit cards is $156 a month. And I am working on getting that down. So 802 minus 156. So that's $646 that I cut down for monthly payments uh, from January to July. And just doing what I do. And I don't do too much extra. Um, I just, whatever comes at me, that's just what I do. So this right here is basically all of my monthly bill tracker. And so hopefully by you seeing my credit card and going back, and that just encouraged me to put more on my credit cards and do a little bit, you know what I'm saying, work more harder towards it. But I don't have to like stress myself and do too much because I still make progress. So that's exactly why I do this monthly bill tracker and I highlight it so that when I, you know, finish, I can go back and look at my wins, y'all. Okay. All right. So we are pretty much done with our paper budget book. So now we're going to go ahead and hop over to our 50 envelope challenge show this is these are looking lovely all right so i'm just going to zoom out a little bit <clears throat> all right so, so i just want to tell you guys we're going to go to my extra cash here that um we'll tell you some good oh what is this doing we'll tell you guys some good news all right, so I'm thinking about maybe like a week and a half or maybe almost two weeks that I will have more of these wallets in stock because everybody's been messaging me, asking me like, are you getting them in stock you? And I did, um, yeah, I did um, get all colors. So they will be, and I will do another, um, probably another video and another post on like my Instagram, A Pink Cloth Life, and my TikTok, A Pink Cloth Life, and then here on my community page. So make sure that you follow me on all three platforms so that you will know when these will be releasing. Um, yes, so I am excited to, um, that I will be having those in stock. So we have 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. Okay, so we got $29 extra cash. Just some things I sold on the Facebook Marketplace, something quick and that I can pretty much save. So let's go to our 50 envelopes challenge. We haven't done this in a while, y'all. All right, so um, what are we gonna put this? So we're gonna do, let's do a 20, 25, 26. Let's fill in a 26. And I always do this with pen, it just looks better. All right, so we're gonna do $26. All right. And then we're gonna see, should be both of these. The envelopes are empty. All right, so 26. Aiden's in the back saying, that is crazy. He's watching Nessie and Nessie and I can't remember Nessie and Nessie, Nessie and Jesse. I think it's Jesse and Nessie. And he cuts the TV up so loud sometimes. Okay, so that'll go in there. All right, so now we have one, two, three. We have three dollars left, so we're just gonna put it in a three dollar envelope. And I've already got three dollars in here, so I'm just gonna double up. And I did put extra in this already. So this has, instead of the six, it actually has eight. So that's what I did with a lot of them. So basically, like I was saying before, when I count these at the end, they're not gonna have, it's gonna be more than the 12. 75 plus the 12, 75. So two, <laughs> he's so laughing. All right, so we got one, two, seven, five plus. Okay, so we have one, so we should have $2,550 at the end of stuffing all of these. We are getting close. Um, but it will be more than the 
um, because I've been, like I said, I've been putting extra or if I have whatever extra cash. I'll All right, so yeah, so these should have a lot more in my envelopes. We are finished with this video. If you have not already followed me on my TikTok and my Instagram is called A Pink Cloth Life. And we are done. So, and like I always say, until next time, guys, peace.